Hello guys, today you are riding with Marshall, except we're not riding anything, and why is that? Because we're going to do a little test. So recently I've had a slight problem with one of my helmets, and that is that it was made in 2011 and should have been retired technically in 2016. However, it's shiny silver, and I love it. And it's a modular, and I love it. So uh, the question is, with these 100 degree temperatures, do helmets of another color technically get hotter or colder based on color? There's a more eloquent way to say that, but I think you get what I mean. So there's talk out there, there's videos that show it's true. There's talk out there that's saying that there is insulated as well as a beer cooler and it shouldn't make any difference. So um, we're gonna do something a little different here. And let me show you what I'm doing. It's uh, a little different than other videos because we got a black helmet, a white helmet, and a silver helmet. So the first thing I need to do is open all events because let's say you are waiting for a train, you're going to have all the vents open. Now unfortunately, I could not get the same model helmet in every color. But I do have three Arai helmets made of the same materials. And what is their temperature out here? So the sunlight on the table is 111, supposedly. In the shade, we're at 90 in the shade, about 91. And it feels like about 91. We're in Colorado, Fort Collins, Colorado. Humidity is about 41% today. The other thing that needs to be scientifically taken into account and isn't here is that when your head is sweating and you are moving, you have evaporation, and evaporation is evaporative cooling, which means your head is cooler. And you all know this because you've ridden with helmets on. Now, then you have the other argument, like from my uncle Crash, and he says, You don't need any helmets, because, I mean, look at me. I've had three concussions, and I'm fine. I started this a minute ago and we're going to wait four more minutes and take a reading from our thermometers inside the open helmets. Okay, it's been five minutes in the hot sun as you can see, no real cloud blockage in the last five minutes. What do we have? You're at a train stop. The train is never ending. You, you have all your vents open. You have the visors open. What do we have? So here's the white one. Now these aren't the most scientific of thermometers inside. So I'm gonna use this one too. Okay, so here we have, right at 100 degrees. See if you can see in there. There you go. We are like right at 100 degrees and that is the white helmet. I'm gonna take a reading with this here. So, take it as you will. I more suspect the gun to be accurate. It's 92.6. These little analog things, they're cheap. They're not really uh, meant to be accurate, but it's what I had. Now we have the black one. The black one, also saying it's at 100 degrees. What is it really? 98.4. What was the other one, you ask? 94.2 now. I'm trying to hit the same spot in the helmet. 94.1, 98.6. So clearly the black one is higher, but what about silver? Because I'm a fan of silver. So silver is at 99 degrees. See if you can see in there. We're just one tick under 100. And the gun says 
96.0. So let's do all this again. So we got 96.0 there. We're going up in temperature still. I got 97.5 in black. 94.4 in white. 94.4 90, 98.2 I gotta clear the thermometer I think 96.9 yep 96.9 so clearly by some degrees the whiter white helmet is likely to make the most difference. Anything that keeps your head away from 100 degrees, especially 104. So we're 91 degrees out here. Let's double check that. Nope, we've gone up to 94.8 in the sun. 93 in the shade, pseudo shade. Once we hit 100 degrees today and you are in that uber cool matte black helmet and you're at a train stop guess what you might wish you'd gone with the lesser cool but yet still cooler white helmet and today I'm at Interstate Honda again who lets me play with their <laughs> what are they $800 helmets Zach thousand dollar helmets? <laughs> helmets okay well thank you for letting me play with the thousand dollar helmets Zach but come out to Interstate Honda if you would like to buy maybe the silver one probably not the black one but if you'd like to buy the white one uh, there you go then in fact it's priced so that one's $699.95 the black one you do get a discount for all that extra heat on your head $579.95 that's because it's a region X versus a Quantum X, and then you've got a a Signet X, and that's seven nineteen ninety five. That Corsair was a thousand. I'm mistaken. Oh well, Zach has a Corsair. There was a thousand. So uh, you sell those here too? We do as well. Ah, you got Corsairs here too. So what about the external temperature? That's the easy part. Uh, you're not wearing the external part of the helmet, but just to show you how each color um, absorbs all the frequencies of light or reflects some of the frequencies of light or reflects all of them. Let's see. So let's go from the back of the helmet. Um, we are shooting at what time of day here? It is 1239. So the sun is directly right up there. Okay. So back of the helmets. Everything around. The white helmet. You can predict this. 101.8 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh my, 147.9 degrees Fahrenheit, and silver is 109. So let's do that again, but let's do it for our Celsius friends, okay? So kind of just clear that off. Silver helmet, 47 degrees Celsius. Black helmet. 68.6 .6 degrees Celsius. White helmet, 39.4. Huh, well if it's that cool on the outside, then surely there's less to transfer to the inside. Let's go inside the helmets, in Celsius this time. I'm gonna shoot directly back, how about that? The silver helmet, 37.4 Celsius. The black helmet, 39.8. That's only two degrees Celsius warmer inside. That's not bad. And some of that is your insulation. And then the white helmet, 36.6. .6. One more time. Just kind of clear the thing out. Let's switch to Fahrenheit. Inside the white helmet with visor open, 97.3. The 
The black helmet, 102 degrees. One hundred degrees for the silver. There is a more scientific way to do this. You could use calibrated thermometers. You could actually put ten people in a row and put their helmets on their heads and measure what the actual temperature in their heads is. Uh, and that would be far, far better. But uh, I think this was enough to show you there are some degrees of difference between a black and a white and a silver with silver predictively being in the middle. So uh, I hope that helps you in your helmet buying decisions. And thanks for watching.